Hey guys, I'm Megan and this is Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today I am here on the Pratamnak Hill, which is in between Pattaya City and Jom Tien. There are many, many things to see and do here. The first place that I'm taking you to today is Wat Prayai. It's the big golden Buddha on the top of the Pratamnak Hill. It's certainly something that you should come to see here in Pattaya. There are also many other things to see on Pratamnak Hill, which we will be checking out here today. But first, let's check out this beautiful golden Buddha, Wat Prayai. A long stairway lined by two golden colored Naga snakes leads you up to the enormous golden Buddha which is a staggering 18 meters high. The Golden Buddha was constructed back in 1977 and is known as Luang Po Yai. It's the largest Buddha statue in the province of Chomburi. Surrounding the big Buddha are seven smaller Buddhas, as well as a pavilion with Buddha's footprint for people to pay their respects. Remember to always dress respectfully when visiting religious attractions. A little further down the hill, you'll find Wang Sam Sian, established for the presentation of the collection of Chinese antique work as well as a number of figures from Chinese history. Close to the entrance is the white statue of the Chinese Goddess of Mercy, known as Guan Im. There's also a large metal bell, built to resemble the bell in the Royal Palace in Beijing, China. A wall filled with 24 beautiful paintings tells the 24 stories of gratitude. A couple of hundred metres away is the popular Pattaya Hill, also known as Khao Prabat, home of the Prabat Temple. Here you'll be able to pay your respects to the Buddha's footprint, which is over 200 years old. Steps away, you'll find the Pattaya viewpoint. It's the most popular place to overlook the city and very picturesque at both daytime and nighttime. After a day of exploring, you can sit back and enjoy a nice refreshing drink at the Hilltop Coffee Shop. Certainly the perfect place to go to watch the sunset over Pattaya City. Coming up next, Pattaya Mail, taking you on a road trip. Serious about losing weight and getting fit? Why not put yourself in the capable hands of the one and only weight loss centre in Pattaya that uses both CrossFit and cardio martial arts? Let us plan a fitness programme that focuses on your individual needs. Or create a programme with a broad set of martial arts experiences. Visit combatgroup.com and start training alongside champions. Take advantage of our special monthly promotion for only 200 baht per session. Combat Group, your one stop for fitness, weight loss, and martial arts. Hey, trouble, trouble, strife. Hey, sorrow, won't you be my wife? Are you ready? Count to three. One, two, Three, I'm about this then. Wow. They actually make wine next door to here, so that's our next stop. <laughs> All right, right. We're about a mile up the road now from where we've just been. And if Paul could just pan round there now, there's the mountain. And now we're at the vineyards called Silver Lake. There's all the grapevines. Right, so here we are now at the entrance. And great, no entrance fee again. 
All right. Aubergines. They're good, aren't they? <sighs> right, here we go. Silver Lake, Bellagio. Yes, please. Two slush puppies, please. What flavour are they? Hey? Are they grape? Oh, grape. Whoa. One, two, two please. One for me, one for my friend. Because I'm just about to keel now in all this. Let me have a look. There you are. There's Paul there on his first shake. Mm. Or should we say slush puppy? Um, and I will have a pink straw today. I'm feeling very much, pink. Mmm. Delicious. Hello, ladies. Hello. Wow. Look at this lovely fountain. Opens up into a nice courtyard. All relaxing stuff, you know. And this is delicious. We're going to have another one of these in a minute. You can see for miles. Miles and miles and millions of grapes. Whoa, it looks like the rain's coming in now quickly. So that's the end of our little tour today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget, it's only 20 minutes, 30 minutes out of Pattaya. It's called Silver Lake or the Laser Buddha or Buddha Mountain. And it's just off Sucumbi, right? So we're gonna head back now before the rain comes down. However, the main thing is keep smiling. Nearly 80 foreigners have been detained in police raids nationwide in an operation aimed at those here without valid visas. With many also caught working without work permits, according to the Bangkok Post, police have tightened their crackdown on foreigners who work illegally. Many as English language teachers, football players in small leagues and even religious people. In Pattaya, as part of the same operation, six people have been arrested, one with a three-year overstay. Flights to and from Europe to Thailand could see delays for the rest of the week as mega winter storms have seen chaos in some parts of the West. Travellers are advised to check on flight times and delays before travelling to the airport. Facebook use in Thailand is dropping off with online users choosing other mediums. But that didn't stop the nation being in the top 10 of world countries using social media. According to reports from 2017's figures, the craze continues with 49 million Facebook accounts registered as in Thailand. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, one of the Russian women nabbed without a work permit giving lessons for nocturnally non-proficient people and a former hooker in her home country has gone online asking American media to save her from Thailand's jails where she's currently being held pending a court appearance. She claims that as part of her body-selling career back in her home country, she sat in on serious meetings that could prove Russian meddling in the US elections. This story, to be fair, gets funnier and funnier by the day, as she claims that she would be slung in jail if deported back to Russia, which we're told is the master plan here. The Thai government has just added an extra day off for Song Kran. Originally, the Songkran break was due from April 13th through to the 17th, but yesterday the cabinet added an extra day off Thursday, April 12th, making Songkran a full five-day holiday. And from today, an international website design and SEO company opens its Thailand branch right here in Pattaya. Fresh Digital promises professional services with lower prices than we're used to and a highly skilled design team right here in the city that guarantees performance and delivers on time. So if your website isn't performing, get in touch. You can't miss their adverts. 
Today, Thursday, is a national holiday in Thailand and a religious one too. No alcohol is to be sold until midnight and it's an ideal opportunity to take part in the festivities at all temples, perhaps going with a Thai friend who can explain it to you. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 31 degrees, dropping down to 22 and a continued overcast day, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and of course Pattaya, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Andy Barwell at the BBC Sports Centre. There were few worries in the end for Premier League side Tottenham Hotspur as they reached the FA Cup quarterfinals. Spurs were easy 6-1 winners over the English third-tier side Rochdale and Tottenham had a hat-trick hero at a snowy Wembley Stadium. Mora stabs one through the middle. Urente with the chip. Great finish from Fernando Urente right at the start of the second half. Clever pass from Son Lucas, back to Llorente, gets his second. To Soko, back to Son, in the penalty area, beats a couple of defenders with pace, chips the ball to the far post, Llorente with the header for the hat-trick. And Spurs will face Swansea City in those FA Cup quarter-finals. Arsene Wenger says keeping his job as Arsenal boss is his last worry. Arsenal have lost four of their last six games and supporter unrest is growing. Wenger's side next face Manchester City on Thursday in the Premier League in a repeat of the League Cup final. My job is to focus on the performing and uh, other people is to judge me. It's not me to evaluate that. Does it stop you to sleep that uh, my position is uncertain or would not be certain or is certain? No. So what is interesting in football is the performance, is football. And uh, is the game you will see on Thursday night. That's what is important. Pep Guardiola has confirmed that the Premier League leaders Manchester City will offer midfielder Phil Foden a new long-term contract. The 17-year-old was named as player of the tournament after England's under-17s were World Cup winners in October. And the Brighton and Hove Albion left-back, the Cameroon international Gaetan Bong, has signed a new deal to keep him at the club until the summer of 2019. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Coming up next, fabulous food. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more. And more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar, with 50 TVs including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide.
up next on Fabulous TV Patia. tell you a couple of weeks ago I went down to the Loft Resort. I didn't want to go to be honest. I got a phone call from Slim, the manager down there. Hey Tommy, you better get down here. We got Elton John tonight. I said yeah, right, okay. And I went down uh, Sunday night to see what was promised to be Elton John. And lo and behold, it was an amazing show. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Tim Hedges is the man who is Elton John. Uh, he's in the studio with us right now. First of all, I thought your show was great. Thanks very much. And um, cover bands and stuff like that, not normally my flavour. But when I actually saw you playing, it was like, wow, this is really cool. How long have you been doing Elton? I've been doing that for, well, I started in 2002, but I give it a break for, for about 10 years uh, from 2005 because I lost my voice. Oh, did you? Did you find it again? Uh, Obviously I, you did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I found. A, I, I decided that I just, uh, I just wanted to give it a go again, and uh, and I thought, well, I, I was a little bit apprehensive how it would work over here, but uh, to my amazement, I tried it out in a place called the Pub, uh, with Gregory's uh, Pub, in uh, Hua Huayai, Huayai, mm -hmm. yeah. Hua and uh, that was that. You know, that was the beginning of it. I thought, well, this is all right. This is going well. So let's let's give it a go. It just snowballed from there, really. It's a it's a it's a great yeah. show. Obviously, you put a lot of thought into it to put together. You yeah. doing this gig down there at the Loft Resort? Now it was an outdoor gig. Yeah. Uh, you had a packed house, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. Um, you're going to go back there again this weekend, I believe. This Sunday, I'll be there performing again, and uh, looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay, Tim. What else? Are you tell you. I mean, uh, you're doing Elton, but I, I, the other thing is, I saw on Sunday somewhere else at the Med, you were playing a different kind of music. You were playing some beautiful jazz and some swing music. Yeah, we were doing a bit of. Uh, we were we were experimenting, actually, to be honest with you, doing some Latin stuff, and uh, he'd never he'd never did it there before, and he just wanted to see what it was like. So uh, we did a few hours of that, and uh, we topped it off with a bit of. Uh, where Elton. did you learn to play the keyboard? I mean, I'm not being funny. You play it beautifully. Thanks. Uh, I taught myself at about four or five years old. I just kept going at it, and uh, I don't know. It just it, it's something I can do. I've never known not been able to do it, you know. So I mean, I just kept at it, and there, there, there it is. You know, just it's one of these things. You know, we're all we've all gifted at something. Just some people don't know what the. I just wish at. I could play the keyboard like you do, because I was sitting there again in a courtyard. And the sound that you managed to fill the sound, and it was really, really beautiful. You did one of my favourite songs that way, uh, "Girl from Ipodema." It's a beautiful piece of music, and oh, yeah. you, you, you just threw it in there. The other one that you threw in there, uh, Nat King Cole, "The Autumn Leaves." Oh God, that's yeah. one of those songs that just make. If you know the song, it makes your toes curl. If you hear it played beautifully, well, that's true. That's and true. if you hear somebody crucify it, you just want to kill them. Well, yeah. And you yeah. did a lovely job that oh, one thanks. as well. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Two, two really. Re they, they were the ones that stuck in my. What's your favourite song? Oh, yeah, that's a difficult question, really, because I've got so many. You know, it's uh, like when you when you when you play all these songs, you know, you just can't differentiate. Yeah, you must have one that you go, God, I love doing that. Because you, you've got another one that you go, I hate doing this song, but they all love it. Oh, I suppose, um, I suppose it's Love for Sale. Uh, love mm. for Sale from Cole Porter. Mm. Yeah, I love that one. Beautiful piece. What's the one you hate that everybody oh, wants you to I, play? Uh, I think it's a song called, um, um, Eb uh, oh, no, it's, uh, oh, yeah, 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 Ebtide, Ebtide, yeah. Who's that by? Oh, it's a jazz song. All oh, right. It's an old jazz song, but it's something I never really liked. So. We asked you to bring your keyboard into the studio. Yep. Now, to be fair to you, we're doing this live, so it's not plugged in. This is, um, what would you call it? The, what was the series they did on uh, on MTV? Unplugged. Unplugged. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, for your listening pleasure, Tim Hedges, Unplugged. What are you going to play for us? Well, I thought about an Alton John song to be original, like... Yeah, let's do Nikita. <laughs> 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 Go right. on, then. All right, then. Um, OK, this is, a, this, is a, this is a song called uh, Your Song from Alton John. You OK. Know. Are you ready? Oh, we're ready. It's a little bit... 
getting funny This feeling inside And up on those again And so Now, the, the beautiful thing about you doing that, and I've got to swear to our listeners, is that you're actually playing the keyboard. There was no MP3 track behind you. That was you naked in the studio. Well, you were in clothes, weren't you? I, I mean, yeah. I could pick He's up. naked under his clothes, isn't <laughs> that he? camera on me now. Yeah, look at him, absolutely. <laughs> but absolutely, with no effects whatsoever, we've taken all the effects away. We said, come in and play it, but no effects. We want to see what you really say. And that was really it's good, brilliant. wasn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Really. Unplugged, undressed. Yeah, that, do you know, that was the first uh that was the very first elton john song that i ever remember as a kid i remember it coming out tim hedge is our, je our guest jest or guest i keep saying jest <laughs> <A> guest. <laughs> our, our guest here on fabulous 103 <laughs> Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. Every Sunday at the Havana Bar and Terrazzo Restaurant, enjoy a buy one get one free promotion on all pizzas between 12 midday and 8 o'clock in the evening. And don't forget your dancing shoes, as every Sunday evening is the popular Latin dancing night. Learn some new moves with complimentary dance lessons before the party and enjoy the Latin tunes by a live DJ. The dancing itself starts at 8.30 at the Havana Bar at Holiday Inn. Every Sunday out at Banksaray Beach Club, indulge in a delicious Sunday roast while admiring the beautiful views of Banksaray Bay. On the beachfront at the Banksaray Beach Club, you can enjoy this meal for just 350 baht per plate, and desserts start at 75. Available every Sunday, kicking off at 1.00. Earth Hour Evening at the Sala Rim Nam Restaurant promises whining and dining your evening away under the stars with a candle-lit Earth Hour Dinner. Indulge in a Thai traditional feast in romantic and relaxing surroundings out by the Lotus Ponds at Sala Rim Nam, which is located at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. That's every Monday evening from 7 until 10 in the evening. Fancy some live music and relaxation? Well, why not try the Havana Bar and Terrazzo restaurant? They're both at the Holiday Inn. And on Wednesdays all the way through till Saturday, you can sit back, relax and enjoy the wonderful sounds of the brand new in-house band. The Respect Band performs a range of Western, Thai, Chinese, country and even pop music. And that's located at the front of the Holiday Inn in Pattiers Beach Road. If you're looking for the least expensive lunch in the city, why not check out the Mediterranean Garden Resort at Lake Maprachan? With pizzas from only 99 baht, Thai food from 79 baht, and puddings starting at 19 baht. They're available every day from 12 noon until 3 o'clock. And the Mediterranean Garden Resort is in the village of Pong. Head over to the East Coast Kitchen Restaurant at the Holiday Inn Patia Hotel and treat yourself to a seafood barbecue buffet feast. Priced at only 999 baht, net per person, and children under the age of 12, well, they eat for free. The buffet takes place between 6 and 10 every Thursday, Friday and Saturday evening, and they recommend advanced reservations. Kick off your weekend in style with magnificent 360-degree panoramic views of the sun setting over the bay, whilst listening to the hottest beats by a live DJ. 
Every Friday and Saturday evening, you can join us at the Rooftop Terrace in Holiday Inn Patio Hotel. And you can also enjoy a special buy one, get one free on all beverages. On every second Saturday of the month, enjoy a fun-filled day for the whole family at the Havana Bar at the Holiday Inn Patio. That's when they hold their farmer's market. Enjoy tasting, buying and sharing wholesome food products, beauty products and, of course, handmade arts and crafts. Why not take along your towel and have a dip in the pool? Entrance is completely free. The next one's coming up on Saturday from 10.30 in the morning. <laughs>